What's up guys? So today I've got a video for you. We're gonna be coding. So this is one of my little uh, coding videos I usually do. I'm gonna try to keep this one a little more precise and exact, if you will, so less rambling. So let's just jump right into it then. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is the achievements. I recently started working on the achievements and they actually all basically finished. There's a few uh, last few, uh, second things we gotta do and uh, we'll do them in this video, but uh, I'll just kind of go over the process of how it uh, looks. So this is what the file looks like. So you have your uh, achievements, and you got listeners, and then you have the four tiers, novice, and you can see each one has its own particular file. If we go to, let me make sure there's nothing particular in the file. Uh, I'm, the main concern with these videos is showing anything that I shouldn't show, like an IP or something like that. So always gonna be very cautious. Okay, I don't think I'm showing anything cool in here. So this is bottle opener. This is a novice achievement. It is message in a bottle. That is what the uh, actual name of the achievement is. Find a random clue bottle while fishing. Catch any fish yields a chance. Uh, your fishing will help to you. Fine, and then you can see right here that blah, 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 blah. So we've already done that, but um, if we look at the file here, you can sort of see it's pretty, uh, the way coding is, it's kind of a self-explanatory, I mean like, Obviously, a lot of these words might not make any sense. You might not know exactly what they do, but you can kind of get um, how they work from just trial and error, right? So return message in a bottle. Obviously, that is the name of the achievement, right? That's super simple. You can you can figure that out. Um, whenever you're making a file, this right here also needs to be there. So, I mean, like, if you open up another file, you know, a different achievement, it's going to be a different one. So that's this is how I learned to code. I just did stuff like that, you know, I... It, it's the stuff that made sense I changed so right in here we can see the text this is what I would change um, this is what we change so then we can also um, one of the things I really like about the achievements on here is we can have unique rewards so every achievement uh, basically when it's finished you're gonna this one gives you I think a hundred raw lobsters is what it is um, so the reason uh, for the most of the stuff is just to like link everything together uh, like bottle found is player true this just saves it in your player file that you know it happened and then there's some other things that that account for it. I at one point at, at one point there was no message that came up when you started an achievement or finished one. Uh, so then I added them, but then that added double. <laughs> so I don't know what went wrong there, but um, I think it was just me being stupid. But uh, if you're wondering what the name is, bottle opener. That's a song from. Well, actually, I don't think it's that exact name. Maybe it is. Uh, it's a Gus Dapperson song, and then the actual name of the uh, achievement is a the police song. They're called the police, right? Or are they just called police? I don't know. You know who I'm talking about, though. So uh, that's basically that. And then we have commit slaughter. This one is just kill, you know, complete a slayer task, right? So that's uh, what they look like. Um, some of the master ones I'll show you, like, uh, like uh, Master Bader right here. A fun one. Um, you can see just, you know, right here you can see the amounts. Change it to whatever you want. And you have to go through multiple, f you know, different files and add these and some of them already exist some of them didn't but so what we're going to do in this is we're actually going to change these rewards so some of these kind of have like just a default boring reward of elite mystery box plus 10 mil coins i figured that was a good default reward but i don't want all of them to have that reward i feel like only like one thing should actually drop that so uh, we're going to figure out which ones have it and then uh, come up with new ones okay so blistering cold we'll uh, just make a note blistering is one that needs changed we have the masturbator that we just saw I guess it's just those two, so uh, we'll, uh, I think uh, since we have the Golden God one, which gives you 50 mil coins, this was originally going to be a, uh, a hard, or, uh, yeah, an expert, I guess, I thought it was called hard, but it's expert, uh, an expert one, um, but then I moved it to master because we needed, I was running out of space, and I wanted to make sure that we had enough for all of them, so there's actually nine in each tier, um, so I think what we'll do is we'll change it to an elite mystery box. Because I still think this is quite a bit of work, uh, mining 500 gold ore and then smelting it, and you're kind of going out of your way to do that. Obviously, if you're an Ironman, that will set you up on gold bars, but if you're a normal account, there's probably zero reason to do this other than for this money. Also, I need to make sure it's not like a thing people <laughs> like just spam multiple accounts and bought it or something for cash, but I don't know. That's just how I try to think as a game developer. I'm, I'm way too, um, I don't know, paranoid. Okay, so this is the Angler, and there's actually uh, one achievement for it. It's a uh, medium one, or beginner. I always, I don't know why. I named them, and I get con them confused. Um, it gives you 50 mil pearls, 1 mil coins right here. Um, so, I mean, this is how you get the Angler outfit. Uh, I, I don't know if Fishing Trawler is worth putting in the effort to, like, make it a thing. 
uh, especially when this already works and exists and is already part of the game. But I do like the idea of having everything work the same as old school, so I'm not going to rule that out. But I think giving people um, maybe a couple pearls as well as something else is not a bad idea. Um, maybe maybe Dragon Harpoon. I, I believe it's a part of the Raids kit, but obviously, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a part of Raids kits, right? Oh, right, the Dragon Harpoon is a uh, Slayer thingy from the Wyrms. Okay, and then also, I guess, Timbros, which I would I would love to have Timbros. That's definitely something I would like to add, for sure. Uh, but I think Dragon Harpoon, maybe that's too much, so... I don't think Barbed Tail would be worth it, especially when Barbarian Fishing is already a thing, and you would get the Strength XP, so... I think we'll just go with some Pearls and... Uh, shoot, it feels lazy to just go with an Elite Mystery Box. There's a lot of achievements that already like give you the Elite Mystery Box. I mean, there's some fun ones. I'll think about them. Okay, so I was going to do like some Sacred Eels and some Infernal Eels, because I like the idea of that. Uh, but uh, the problem is you can't note them, and sending it to the bank really won't work for Ultimate Iron Man. And it just, uh, I don't know, just the idea kind of fell through. So I decided on two Elite Clue Bottles. So that'll be that. Two Elite Clue Bottles plus the 100 Mulch pearls which is enough for at least one item um considering this is the only way to get it you'll have to do this fishing spot and i don't actually know if it counts for the achievement let's find out all right let's see what we got here we're at uh, what is this uh, masturbator masturbator we're at 419 we'll see if that works i'm guessing it would let's find out oh it doesn't boo boo let me know if you think it should i don't know Technically, you're not the one catching the fish. You're just throwing out the bird, and then the bird catches it. And you're just sitting there like a, like a fucking nerd. I don't know. Uh, so then, yeah, I guess giving you giving you one free piece is probably beneficial. I, I'm trying to think, like, because, like, if I gave you raw fish as a reward, you're not really going to need that because you already, you just fished 5,000 fish. I'm, I'm obviously going to have to do it in a row, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the kind of logic I'm trying to give with the rewards. It's kind of weird when you, like, do the achievement and then it rewards you with the achievement. It's like if the Golden God achievement gave you gold bars. That just doesn't make sense at that point. So let's move on to Winter Todd. Uh, the Blistering Cold, the last uh, of the uh, boring achievement rewards. So uh, the obvious answer would be just a big old reward casket, right? But that doesn't really work with this because I think the points are saved to your character file and the... Um, the way the box would work, I think it would just... I'm not sure how... Maybe I could give you points, too? I, I, it's its a little more confusing than the Molt's Pearl. Obviously, Molt's Pearl is just one simple ID, so I don't think it's going to be as simple as that. Um, trading in obviously doesn't work now, but that's definitely something we would want to add, so maybe we could just give you a guaranteed piece, and then if you didn't need the piece, you just traded it in. But that kind of just feels lame, because uh, it is 100 winter tot, and uh, this is probably going to be something we mass a lot, because... It, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I do not like doing solo winter time, so I'm definitely going to try to mask this in each any opportunity I get. Um, so, I don't know, we'll, uh, we got to try to think of a good reward. We definitely want to encourage people to do it. Maybe this, honestly, maybe this is one of the ones where we keep it, keep the achievement what it is, or keep the reward what it is. Um, maybe up the cash a bit? Um, I don't know, because... Uh, it's a pretty hefty achievement to go out of your way to do. Obviously, masses will make it easy. I don't know. Let me, again, once again, we gotta, we gotta think about it, right? Oh, and I guess from the coding standpoint, all, all I had to do was just change the two elite clue bottles plus 100 mulch pearls, and then added, and then change the IDs down here to the correct one. So, I mean, it's pretty, it's, like I said, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. So after thinking about it, um, I usually like to just look at the entire item list, scroll through it, and you know, sort of lets you like look at things a bit more, and you can kind of see things that don't normally exist. Like obviously, some of these things right here are not items; they're just a part. They're probably part of menus for construction or stuff like that. So there's some weird stuff you can find that's, you know, not just on wikis and stuff like that. But I think we'll probably just keep it simple. I think a tome, a straight up tome. That way, if you do 100 Winter Tide, you're 100% guaranteed to get the tome. I think that's pretty fair, and it's kind of on par with the logic of the Undead Dragon, where you're guaranteed uh, to get the head after 50. Um, and then, of course, if you already had one, we can maybe make a thing. I don't know if you could trade in the Tome of Fire. I don't know if that's one of the things you can trade in, but if you if, if it is, we'll make that work, or we'll come up with something else. I'm sure it'll have some invention dis disassembling component as well, so 
Uh, yeah, I think that's that. Uh, we'll probably throw... Uh, what else? What else could go with it? Let me think. You know, let's just do a little bit of money. Money is always fun. Actually, you know what? Let's go with two mystery boxes. Just normal mystery boxes. Okay, so now if we look at our achievements, we have Blistering Cold, which is now Tome of Fire plus Elite Mystery Box. I decided Elite Mystery Box. I really want to encourage people to do Winter Tot whenever we're doing Winter Tot, and I think the Elite Mystery Box will, uh... I think that'll convince people to do it. And then we have the Masturbator, of course, which is two Elite Clue Bottles and 100 Mulch Pearls. So that is it for the achievements. They are essentially done. What I'm going to do now is do all of them. I'm going to edit my account and make sure I'm, like, one away from completing all of them. And then uh, I want to just test and see how that all works and see if we can get the cape and everything. I don't believe... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's coded yet, but we're going to find out. Okay, so it's been like, it's actually been a couple of days, uh, but I just, uh, I've been having issues with the last two achievements. Um, and basically, as far as I can tell, bosses die differently than normal monsters, so the same sort of code I've been using with, like, the bear with me uh, does not work. So I've had to rethink them. I think what I've decided is I'm going to move Titan's Trial to a uh, expert, and then it's just going to be kill one Zora. Um, because I think Zora's pretty hard enough. And honestly, the thing about this achievement, when I first thought of it anyways, is the reward from it is the armor, the hybrid armor, which is good for Zora. So it's just kind of dumb when you do something and then you get the reward that just helps you do that thing better. I know there's a lot of things like that in RuneScape, but I'm just personally not a fan of that. So that was kind of like, I just feel like lazy design to me. Um, so I think uh, moving it to just one kill, just you can defeat Zora, now you can wear the armor, then it'll help you all the rest of your Zora fights. And, you know, even if you don't want to do Zora, then, you know, you just kill one and you got your armor. Plus, the server is going to be a lot uh, slower and a lot harder than the last, uh, than the Revival 1. Um, obviously, if you're on the easier mode, you'll be able to progress faster, but even just, like, combat should be slower and, and more realistic in terms of RuneScape, at least that's what we're hoping for that's what we're expecting right off the bat so i think killing one is still an achievement and obviously it's been moving moved to expert undead dragon i still haven't figured out what i want to do with it yet but i'll probably just do something with it um so the obvious the reward for undead dragon was a vorkat's head so it's actually unnecessary because the um there was already actually code for Vorkat's head dropping at 50kc. It was messed up and it actually hit at 51 because basically what would happen is you'd get to 50 and then it would trigger that you hit 50 um, but wouldn't give you the drop and you'd have to kill one more then get the drop. I don't believe that's how it is on RuneScape so I changed it and now it's it should proc at 50 as we can see here. So uh, that's good. You'll still get the Vorkat's head. You're not missing that and then um, you know I'll just figure out something else for this last achievement. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish those up. I'm going to get the uh, the items working and then that should be achievements 100% done. Okay, with that, we finally we finally completed the achievements. So I'll show you what I did, what the workarounds are. So uh, let me go back again. I still, I still can't figure that out, but we'll get that one day. Anyway, so we moved the Titan's Trial to Expert. It is now an Expert achievement, and it is now just one. Kill one Zora. Uh, it's basically the same reward with the Titan's Decree, but you get a mystery box now just to put it in, in the same tier of Experts. Uh, the main reward is obviously the ability to make the armor. This is what you would do to make the armor. Um, and then the uh, the Abyssal, I think it was called Stare into the... Stare into the Abyss? Was that what it was called? It was the Abyssal Demon achievement. It was only kill 100. Has now been renamed to The Void, which is a Kid Cuddy song. And, uh, Jen, I'll just... I also just realized it says defeat 100, but you actually have to kill 500, so i got to fix that. But now it's 500, and, uh, the reward is Elite Mystery Box plus a... You're guaranteed to get the Demon Head at least at 500 kills, so there's that. And then finally, with the last achievement that we sort of had to rework around... I didn't really have to rework around the Abyssal Demon achievement. I just figured if we were going to make the Zora kill just one Zora, it, it had to be easier, because that, that's just not a Master Tier 1. And then with the Abyssal Demons, that's a pretty hard achievement. And then, you know, increasing the number even harder, obviously, puts it, you know, puts it in the Master Tier. I also did do a test to see if I could add more, and I cannot. So unless we do something to make this menu longer, this is the amount of achievements we'll have. My hope is that we'll somehow figure out how to add more. I, I, I don't know how to do it, <laughs> but I'm sure Dark does, so I'll... Uh, whenever he has more time, we'll figure that out, and then we'll eventually add a grand master tier down the road. But uh, the thing about that is, when we do that, we'll, we'll also have, you know, a lot more content in the game, and we'll have a lot more things that would be worth the achievements. So, I think those are good right now. You can do every single achievement. You don't have to, like, wait for us to do something to do them. Um, 
and, and that's pretty good right there. Uh, but it is 500 now for that. And then last one we have is the uh, did I talk about this yet? The undead dragon. So it's essentially the same thing. You have to kill 50. So when you kill 50 of uh, Warcath, as I showed earlier in the clip, uh, you'll get the head now. Um, so what you have to do is you have to make that make the assembler. So you'd use the head on the thingy, and then now you can only list your box. So it's basically the exact same achievement. You have to kill 50. It's just now, instead of um, killing the 50, you also have to make, make the actual assembler, which um, I guess it's kind of dumb because... You like, for example, if you wanted the helmet, you you kind of have to go this route first. But I guess that's not always the case. You could just do another fifty, and then uh, you know whatever. So I guess that's your call. But it does kind of paint you in a picture there. Let me know if you think I should just make it give you the head back, like you get another head, so that way you can make the helmet too. Or if you just think that that's like overkill for fifty kills, and just make people go back. So then you actually have to earn the helmet, or you actually have to earn the cape, whichever you choose. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for the achievements. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the items work. There's a couple thingies I have to do, like, for example, um, Thirst for Knowledge. Uh, the reward is two random barrels items. That has to, I have to code that. And then uh, there's a lot of uh, item changes that I have to make. That's, that's a cache thing. And so I have a little notepad, which uh, I really hope I didn't lose it somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere in my on my desk, I have a notepad that says all the client or all the cash changes I need to make. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on those, get everything plugged in, get everything finished working, and then I think the last thing we really kind of have to worry about is the achievement cape. Like uh, there's there's pretty much no dialogue for it. There's nothing that confirms it. I don't think there's anything that even checks it. I don't really know a good way to do it. I'm gonna dig around into it and try to see what I can do, but. Worst case scenario, I'm thinking I'll just give, like, every single achievement will give you, uh, let's just say, a point, an achievement point. Not a, not a point you would spend, but it'd be just, like, a, a achievement stat, maybe, achievement level. I don't know. And then once you completed all achievements, it would register that, like, you've completed all achievements and you'd be able to... I mean, once you hit the last achievement, I would have it probably yell something like, blah, 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 complete all achievements, and then... And then you would be able to wear the cape or whatever. So I think that's probably the most... Like, I think that that's a doable way to do it. But I'm hoping I can probably come up with something better. We'll see. But that's uh, that's it for this video. That's going to be it. I know we're not really coming off with any conclusion. But this these last two ones took way longer than I expected. And this video is already long enough. So we will move on to the next thing uh, in the next video.